Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Detail back bringing another video here today and I got my week 3 NFL game picks. Um, last week was definitely rougher than week 1. I went 9-7, which I mean isn't bad, but it's not to the it's not the standard I want to be at, you know. I'm trying to I'm trying to, you know, get like 70-80% of these games right every week, which uh I mean, as the weeks go on, it's only going to get harder and harder. This week uh, is another week that could honestly throw me in a loop with some of these games. Uh, very, very split. I think uh, a lot of these could go different directions. So, regardless, uh, sort of like through the Thursday night game, uh, Tennessee at Jacksonville. I picked the Titans to win 24-20, but I did have a small feeling in the back of my head uh, that the Jaguars were going to win, but I was just, I was just thinking like, come on, no way. Uh, the Titans, this is a, this is a game they should win, and they looked terrible. Uh, I think they they probably could have had a better chance had uh, many of their big plays from Derrick Henry not get called back by penalties, because that's what this game was. It was filled with penalties, and uh, props to Gardner Minshew. I think that's how you say his name, but uh, <laughs> dude balled out. He, he's looking, he's looking like he could do some things for his team. Uh, do I think they're still gonna win a lot of games? Not really, but you know he could shock us. Uh, I think he is very serviceable as of right now. So I'm curious what both these teams' futures look like. Uh, I think the Titans. It's about time for them to move on from Mariota, and you know keep keep running the ball with Derrick Henry. He needs to get a new contract, in my opinion. And I think Corey Davis could be something really special if he had a better quarterback behind him. And that defense is still good. Don't get it twisted. But it's just, it's not looking good for either side, to be honest. Uh, regardless, Jaguars got the win. Congrats. Let's move on to the Sunday games. Starting off, we got the New York Jets going to New England to face the Patriots. Uh, the Patriots have allowed three points through two weeks. Regardless, the teams they played have not been very good. Uh, regardless, they they it's three points, man. And I think the Jets will score three points. I have the Patriots winning 31-3. Uh, unreal. This team just looks more dominant than ever. Regardless that. Regardless of Antonio Brown not being on the team anymore, they still have plenty of weapons, and this team is going to continue to dominate teams. So, yeah, that's, that's about it. Moving on, we got the Cincinnati Bengals going to Buffalo to face the Bills, and uh, the Bills—they're they're a team that looks good, and that's that's kind of what I thought going into the season. I think this is a team that's better than people expect. Um. And I think they continue to show up. I think they're going to move to 3-0. and And if we get Bills versus the Patriots in Week 4, both teams being 3-0. I have uh, the Bills winning 27-20. I think the Bengals have been pretty decent. Uh, they got annihilated last week by the Niners, so I got that completely wrong. But I do think injuries have been holding them back. Uh, and their defense isn't great either. But I think the Bills will continue to make some plays on offense they make they make big plays they're good enough and their defense will continue to lead the way for them so yeah I think the Bills move to three now up next we got the Miami Dolphins coming to Dallas to play play the Cowboys uh, Dolphins they're, they're the worst team in the league point blank and simple uh, Josh Roden is starting this game though so Maybe the team can get a little bit more momentum. I still don't think it's going to be enough. If the Cowboys manage to blow this game, that will be beyond embarrassing. I have the Cowboys running 30-14. to 14. Like I said, I think the Dolphins will be better now that Fitzpatrick isn't starting. But they're still not a good team on either side of the ball. Even the coaching staff. Uh, th there's no excuses for how bad this team really looks. So... Dolphins moved 0-3. I think the Cowboys moved to 3-0. Uh, not much to say there. Up next, we got the Denver Broncos going to Green Bay to face the Packers. And the Pack... I'm, I'm sold. The Packers look good. They finally got an offensive explosion in Week 2. Uh, they put up 
points early. I think throughout the first quarter, they scored like 21 points. They went absolutely bonkers on the Vikings. And then they just played strong defense. Kirk Cousins. Uh, I don't have words for that, man. Uh, regardless, I think the Packers are a much better team than our Broncos. And I think they win 27-17 at home. And continue to get the ball rolling. This team, this team looks good. And I think they have a shot to make a Super Bowl run. So, yeah. Moving on, we got the Atlanta Falcons going to Indy to face the Colts. Um, I think both these teams are very interesting. The Falcons barely scratched out a win in a game that they honestly sh maybe should have lost. Nelson Aguilar dropping a walk-in touchdown pass from Carson Wentz. The uh, game was a dogfight. Fun to watch, but these, both these teams are in very odd spots. Uh, both one and one. I think the Falcons are going to win 28-20. This is one of those games I think could go either way. I, yeah, I don't really know what to say. I just I think I like Atlanta more, uh, consistency wise, and I think Indy might have the better defense to be honest with you. But I trust Matt Ryan more. I trust Julio more. Uh, even Calvin, Calvin Ridley, he's been balling out. And I, I think this is going to be a good game to watch. Like I said, I have it close. It's a one-score game. So that's just my opinion. Uh, moving on to the game probably everyone's most excited for this week. We've got the Baltimore Ravens going to Kansas City to play the Chiefs. I have the Chiefs winning. 27-24. I... The Chiefs are at home, and I just feel like Pat Mahomes is really that hard to stop. While Lamar Jackson has looked incredible through two weeks, and obviously their defense is still good. We saw them get exposed by the Cardinals a little bit. That game, that game was close, and the Cardinals didn't have a chance to win. But Lamar Jackson threw an absolute dime to pretty much ice the game for them. Um, like I said, this is another one of those games that could go either way. I could be completely wrong, but I'm going to put my trust in Pat Mahomes and Andy Reid. While they do have their most important, maybe not most important, but one of their best weapons in Tyree Kill out, I think they will get it done. Uh, I mean, it honestly comes down to the whole home field advantage. If they were playing at Baltimore, I might be swayed in a different direction. But playing in Kansas City is tough, and these are just two really good teams. Uh, very 50-50. So, yeah, I got the Chiefs, but it's it's close. Up next, we got the Oakland Raiders going to Minnesota to play the Vikings. Uh, both these teams look very bad. And the Vikings have so much talent, but the quarterback position is letting them down. Kirk, he he just kind of looks extra bad this year. And the Vikings know that. They're trying to limit him. They want to run the ball. Uh, when you have a talent like Devin Cook, obviously you want to run it. But it's just it's more than usual and more than it should be. And the Raiders, they started off like their game last week against the Chiefs strong. Started 10-0. And then they didn't score after that. And the Chiefs went on the offense explosion. They didn't score after that. And I don't even know if Josh Jacobs is going to play. And if he does, I think he's limited. Tyra Williams is dealing with a hip injury. Uh, and I just don't think they match up very well against this Vikings team. Uh, so I do have the Vikings winning 28-14. I'm giving them a little bit more faith than maybe they deserve. But... Uh, I just I don't see a scenario where the Raiders win this game personally so yeah I think the better team wins and that will move us on to the Detroit Lions at Philadelphia playing the Eagles and the Lions really shocked me last week they beat a really good Chargers team and I think they were at home so maybe that was the factor and uh but the defense is they're playing well and I have always had faith in carry on and Matt Stafford is always a guy that can go off. He has probably some of the most 
arm talent in the league. So, yeah, I have them winning 24-21. And even though the Eagles are at home, um, I just think these injuries are going to get to them. I think they might have the most injured starters in the league at this point. So that makes it really tough. And I think the Lions are playing with house money a little bit. I think they have a lot of confidence. And they're going to go into Philly and win a very close game. Uh, like I said, this is another game that could go the opposite direction. But I'm going to buy into the Lions just being a good team this week. And they're doing their thing. The Eagles could very much win this game. They are, they're still really good. But I think the injuries are going to be hard to overcome this week. So, I'm putting my faith in the Lions this week. And uh, moving on, we got the Carolina Panthers going to Arizona to face the Cardinals. And Cam Newton's out. Maybe that's a better thing for him this week. I don't know, but uh, the Cardinals, they've They've done some things. They look dangerous. Like I said, I don't think they were going to win a lot of games, but I think they're going to be close in the games. And I actually think this is a game that they're going to win since uh, I think his name's Kyle Allen is going to start. And I'm going to trust Kyler to get it done. They, they put up points. They put up yards last week against the Ravens who have a good defense and I, I don't think that changes so I have the Cardinals winning 28-17 um yeah that's about it I don't really know what to say up next we got the New York Giants going to Tampa Bay to play the Buccaneers obviously the story of the game Eli Manning's benched and you know everyone's looking at Daniel Jones to make his first start and I think this is a close game I do think it'll be close. The Buccaneers are very gross. They're not a fun football team to watch, and I think we've seen that through two weeks so far. But I do think since they're at home, they're going to have the advantage, and I think they're going to win 20-24. I think the Giants will limit Daniel Jones, and they will put him in a position to succeed. So if they win this game, I really wouldn't be shocked. Uh, Saquon is dominant and I think he will continue to show that this week and uh, I think it'll be close I really will so if the Giants win it wouldn't shock me but I'm going to bet on Tampa Bay exposing a bad defense and Jameis is doing enough and their weapons winning this for them so we'll see we'll see up next we got the Houston Texans going to Los Angeles to play the Chargers and the Chargers lost a, a tough one last week and the Texans won a tough one last week very close down to the wire both these games but I, I still like the Chargers talent more I think their defensive line gets off on that offensive line and I am gonna put some trust in Phillip Rivers to win this game 28-24 another game that could go either direction but I'm going to bet on the Chargers and their talent to win out uh, in a close game. So, moving on, we got the New Orleans Saints going to Seattle to play the Seahawks. And the game that could have been very interesting, Drew Brees gets hurt. And their season is at stake now. Teddy Bridgewater going to have to show up. And I don't think he will, especially against Russell Wilson. And a Seattle team that's tough to beat regardless of what their roster look like. When you have Pete Carroll and Russell Wilson playing for you, it's always going to be close. So I see Seattle winning 27-17 while the Saints have a backup quarterback. And they get the job done. That's about it. Another quarterback that got hurt. <laughs> we got the Pittsburgh Steelers going to San Francisco to play the Niners. Big Ben out for the season. That's absolutely rough. While I think Mason Rudolph will look decent, I expect the Niners to put up more points like they did last week against a Pittsburgh defense that is very beatable. 
So I have the Niners winning 30 to 20. Like I said, I think Pittsburgh still has talent and they will put up points, but I don't think they're going to be winning very many games this year. So Niners start 3 and 0. Crazy stuff. Up next, we got the Los Angeles Rams going to Cleveland for the Sunday night game. And Cleveland has been very meh. I don't think they look awful, but they don't look good, certainly. But I think they they look a little bit better this week than they did the past two weeks. Regardless, it's still not enough to beat this Rams roster that is absolutely loaded and well coached. So I have the Rams winning 31-21 on the road. And they, they get the ball rolling. They continue to show why they're such a good team. Yeah, so Monday night game. We got the Chicago Bears traveling to Washington. And I do have the Bears winning this game 20-14. to 14. I think this is a game that could be an upset, to be honest. I think Washington has a chance in this game. And that's crazy to say. But Mitchell Trubisky does not look good. And they are winning because of their defense. I'm putting trust in Chicago's defense, not Metro Trubisky at all. Case Keenum has honestly looked good through two weeks. Granted, uh, the defenses haven't played great, even against the Cowboys, or their defense hasn't looked particularly strong yet. I think the Bears do what they should and win a game that is closer than it should be. So that's about it. So, moving on to my record through two weeks, also including the Thursday night game. Uh, I'm 22-11-1. and one. Uh, Not awful, but I expect more out of myself. Uh, so, let's hope for a strong week. And let's hope for a, a great week three. Let's hope no more injuries happen, please. Uh, and let's continue to make this a, an exciting NFL season. Uh, a lot of good games this week, I believe. So, yeah, let's keep the ball rolling. Let's keep moving, guys. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Follow me on Twitter for all the Thursday night picks. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm Detail, and I'm signing out. Peace.